In September, the six-time Formula One world champion, Lewis Hamilton, announced his involvement in a new, very different racing championship. It's off-road, it's electric, and it strives to do its bit to save the planet. Is this all sounding a little too good to be true, perhaps? Well, actually, the good news is that thanks to the brain boxes that gave us Formula E, this motorsport mashup is about to become a reality. And not only that, it's kicking off with some of the biggest names in motorsport. Say hello to the amazing new world of Extreme E. So I've come down to Chateau Last Tours in the south of France, to the inner sanctum of Extreme E. And not only that, but somehow they've agreed to let little of me drive this electric beast. Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking either, but before the insurers do find out, let's quickly crack on and let me give you a brief introduction of the who, the what, the why, and the where of Extreme E. The where. Well, Extreme E's first season will be staged in five locations and, well, it's fair to say they are not the typical places you'd expect to find motorsport. From the beaches of Senegal to the Arctic tundra of Greenland, expect some rather unusual, dramatic and extreme backdrops for the first season. So now the what? Extreme E is an off-roading racing series that pits a bunch of all-electric 550 brake horsepower SUVs like this one against each other around two laps of a five mile course and well if that doesn't sound different enough for you each team consists of a female and a male driver who have to swap after just one lap the racing is set to be very different to formula one however lewis hamilton will be facing a familiar foe the 2016 f1 champ nico rosberg has just announced that he'll be launching a team of his own and finally we come to the why which is perhaps the most important part of all now you may have gathered already that this is no ordinary racing series and the organizers of Extreme Eat want to shed new light on the environmental problems that are facing the planet and help fix them along the way. They want to promote things like electrification, sustainability and equality wherever they race and now that can surely only be a good thing. Well, before I hit the track and terrify the engineers, I thought I should hit you with some big numbers. This beast has 550 brake horsepower in its motor. It does 0 to 60 in just over four seconds, and it can climb gradients of over 130 degrees. Sounds rather terrifying, but I'm gonna do my best not to break it. This is incredible because you get that instant acceleration from the electric engine and then the brakes are just incredible, instantly slowing you down and with the, those huge tyres they just keep you gripped onto the, woo, the surface. I just hit a massive puddle, woohoo! But the instant acceleration from the electric motor is just mind blowing, you know, 550 brake horsepower. Woo! Ah, oh, I'm very jealous of the guys that get to do this as a racing profession. This can't be a job. Surely people don't get paid to have this much fun. Oh well, if the Extreme E teams need a female driver, I can think of one. <laughs> She might not be very good though. Ooh. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Can't imagine doing this, you know, in gradients of up to 130 degrees. I mean, that's going to be crazy. This is so cool. I mean, the fact that Extreme E have nailed this car in really a very short space of time. It's just an amazing achievement and I think it's just a show of what they're going to go on to achieve and I would love to see Lewis Hamilton behind the wheel of one of these which I'm sure he will very soon. 
I can't imagine what it will be like going to places like, you know, the beaches of Senegal to Greenland to the Amazon rainforest. Oh, wow, it's going to be incredible. Oh, I could go on doing this all day. That is the most fun going around that corner. <laughs> sure I'm doing it completely wrong. But anyway, unbelievable. Oh. Well, that was absolutely mega. <laughs> I mean, with its environmental credentials and a cart like this, I think it's fair to say I can't resist another drive. Now, someone who has a lot more experience behind the wheel of something a bit more like this is Rallycross driver, Patrick Sandor. Patrick, thank you for joining us. And um, just talk to us from your perspective. I mean, what's it like having Extreme e enter the world of motorsports? I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the whole uh, motor industry is going through an electrification right now and Extreme E is just right there in the mix and it's kind of taking the concept uh, off-road. Uh, they have proven it already with Formula E that the concept is working and now to be able to bring it off-road uh, will be so much fun to drive uh, and also for everybody to watch. And how important is it that Extreme E has environmental credentials right at its heart? We need to start to think more about the environment and Extreme E is doing the exact same thing. And I think everybody on this planet deep inside would like to make the world a better place for the next generation. And if we can just help on a little piece of that uh, through this series, that's just fantastic. What is it going to be like behind the wheel of Odyssey 21? Uh, you will have so much power and torque. Uh, and sometimes you might be a little bit careful with the, with the throttle because all the power comes instant, instantly. So uh, you might have to find traction on some places, but that would just be so much fun. Now with Lewis Hamilton joining with his team X44, what do you think that's going to mean to the sport? What can Lewis bring? I think it's great to see Lewis uh, joining, uh, joining this championship. Uh, his fan base, I'm sure, will follow and see what we are doing on the off-road side of it as well. And hopefully we can see Lewis in a car at some point. Brilliant. Patrick, thank you so much and uh, enjoy driving this electric I'm, mega beast. <laughs> I'm so excited to get behind the wheel. I'm sure you are. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. We have loads of electrifying videos heading this way.